What is going on guys, my name is Drakesy and welcome to another Best Possible Squad Builder on this channel. If you've not checked out previous episodes of this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and check them out on there. But from this episode, we're going to be doing a Best Possible Romania Squad Builder. Without any further ado, let's get into building the team. In net for this team, we have got the Halloween card of Costel Pantillamon. This card, I believe, went up to like a 91 rating or something when it was Halloween, but as you can see, it settled back down to an average kind of rating of an 80 rating. His normal card is only about 77, so it is like a 3, three rating overall increase on his overall card, so it's not that bad, but as we can see, it's 80 rated as a goalkeeper. It's a pretty decent card still, with a few 80 stats on there, reflexes and handling. 82 positioning, 77 diving and 70 kicking. 50 speed, not the best, but he's a decent overall card. And he's six foot seven. He's absolutely huge in game. In at the left back position is somebody that I'm not too sure about. I don't think I've heard of them really much before. I've got him in packs, but that's going to be Radu. Radu in the left back position. He's a 79 rated. Uh, rare gold card. He's got some decent stats for a card, but nothing outstanding. He's got 75 pace, 84 defending, which to be honest is a very, very strong start. 77 physical, and then the rest of his stats are around the 64, 5, and 8 margin. So, not a roundabout, those are his exact stats. I don't know why I said a roundabout. But anyway, that is going to be the left back for the team. And also he plays for Lazio, which pairs him well with the guy next to him. The guy next to him is Vlad Chiriches, ex-Spurs and Tottenham player. Um, I don't know if that's short for Vladimir Chiriches or if it's just Vlad Chiriches. So if you do actually know that, get that down in the comment section below. But as you can see, he's a non-rare gold 77 rated card. Now playing for Napoli in the Serie A. And as you can see, he gets a good strong link because um, they, they both play in the Italian league, the left back and the centre back. Um, but looking at his card in more detail, his pace could do with a bit of an upgrade. I do believe he is not that slow, 69 pace. Uh, from what I remember of him, he is a pretty decent centre back. Um, I say decent, but he didn't do too good for Tottenham. Uh, but as we can see, his defensive stats, which matter, are 79 and 74 too. So not too bad there. The centre-back next to him is going to be a Premier League player who links up well with Pantillamon. And that's going to be Southampton's Gardos. Gardos, I could be wrong. I don't know how to pronounce this, pronounce this guy's name. He's a 74 rated rare silver, 55 pace which is not the best, but looking at his defensive stats, 75 and 76, equal to that of probably a decent gold card. So to be honest for a silver he's a high rated silver and he probably isn't too bad to play with, but that pace is not the best at all. The right back for this team is going to be yet another silver and that's going to be the 68 rated non-rare Philip or Philippe. I'm not too sure how to say this guy's name. I'm not Romanian speaking, so sorry if I slaughter any names. But as we can see, he's playing in the second division in Germany. Um, I'm not too sure about the badge. I think the team that it is begins with a H. I'm not too sure um, on my German second team's names. Uh, second division team names, sorry. Uh, but as we can see, he's got 76 pace. Uh, all round pretty decent stats in his defensive category because he's got decent pace, 66 defending, and then 70 physical. Um, to be honest, his dribbling's not too bad either for a right back, but nothing amazing in the right back position. In the left mid position, we have got a guy named Torje. Torje, I'm not too sure how you would say that either, but as we can see, 75 rated, non-rare gold card. I do believe that is a team from the Saudi Arabian League, so I'm not too sure on who they are. But as you can see, he's got 82 pace on his card, 79 dribbling and 70 shots. Some pretty decent attacking stats there for a winger. And also, he's passing his 70, 67, sorry. So that's not too bad either. In the centre mid position, as you can see, we have Alexandru Maxim. I'm not too sure if that's right. Sorry once again. But as you may know, he does come out of packs as a centre attacking mid. So you will have to convert him back to a centre mid if you do want to build this team. But as you can see, he's a 76 rated rare gold card um, playing for Stuttgart, who I believe now are in the second division in Germany as well. 
Um, but as you can see, he's got some pretty decent stats in his card. Um, he's got 73 pace, 79 dribbling, 77 passing, and then 68 shot isn't too bad or measly either. But the main fact about this guy is the fact that he does in fact have 5 star skill moves. So if you do want to use a 5 star skiller in your team, this is the guy to get in there because he got them skills to pay the bills. In the right centre mid position, it's going to be the legend of the team and it's going to be Hadji. As you can see, he's got an 89 rated legend card in game. In fact, he does also come out as a centre attacking mid, so for the sake of the team, you will have to convert him back to a centre mid. But looking at some of the stats on this guy's card, honestly, it might be, it might be an idea to convert him up to a, cent uh, a, a striker from a centre attacking mid. Um, because he looks like an incredible, incredible card. 84 pace, 85 dribbling, 85 shot and 88 passing. He probably will do a pretty decent job in the centre mid position as he's got all the perfect stats to be a well-rounded midfielder but maybe not the defending stats actually looking at them. Ugh. In at the right mid we have Chipsiu. Chipsiu. Not too sure once again on the pronunciation there but as you can see he is a 73 rated non-rare silver card playing for Anderlecht in the Belgian Pro League I believe and as we can see on his card he's got some decent stats for a 73 rated card as well. 75 pace, 74 dribbling, 70 shot, 71 physical and 67 all on a 73 rated non-rare card. Not too bad honestly he might be pretty decent in game. In at the left striker position, we've got Bogdan Stanku, I think that's his name, I think his first name is Bogdan, I'm not too sure, but as you can see, I'm not too sure on the team that he is playing for at the moment, I don't really know that badge, but as you can see on his card, he's a 76 rated non-rare gold, 75 pace, 74 dribbling and 75 shot are his main stats, but his physical isn't too bad either at 72 as well. So a pretty all-round strong card for a non-rare gold. And possibly you could get a few goals with this guy. He looks pretty usable in-game. The final player from this team is going to be Florin Andone or Andone. I'm not too sure which pronunciation that would be. Maybe it's a silent E, maybe it's not. But looking at his card, he's in fact playing for Deportivo La Coruña, I believe in the first league in Spain. He's got a 77 rated non-rare gold card. He's a striker obviously and some of the stats on this guy's card aren't too shabby either. 77 pace, 71 dribbling, 75 shot and 79 physical. So to be honest you've got a pretty strong front line there. But the only problem is the midfield is not too weak either. But when you get into the defence a lot of it will be depending on Costel Pantillamon because you've got a pretty slow defence, low rated defence and your midfielders aren't the best at covering your defence either. So if you do want to build this team, this is the best possible team for Romania standing at the moment. I hope you have enjoyed this video and be sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe and thank you for watching. See you in a bit guys.